Hey guys, this is Chris. I'm playing the third mission of the solo campaign on Splinter Cell Blacklist. And I tell you, I'm just having a great time uh, playing this on perfectionist mode. And uh, I just, I love it. I, I, I love everything about it. And this has got to be my favorite game of all time. Um, you know, Chaos Theory is brilliant and all that. But this has just improved everything in so many ways, and I, I really do enjoy it. So here we are um, in Chicago, and you can see we're in this kind of amusement park. Uh, you can slide down that pole there, and you can go in the ground and uh, down toward the ground and whatnot. But a real easy way is you can climb up uh, on this pole. And there are different places where you can get exploration exploration points like for instance on that carousel uh, if you go in the middle of that carousel you can get exploration points as well as you can see on the right there there's another pole and column if you go up there and you go on the the little catwalk you can get more points there so what this does is this really takes you on the other side of the room without any of the guards even noticing that you're there so just watch out for for flashlights of course, on perfectionist mode, these guys will just spot you out in no time. So just be real careful of that. One thing to note is that the right side of this room is pretty high traffic. However, when I was looking at it and finding different places to, to go, I did still find this way to be better. Also, this, this is a great place to go. Not only do you get points for going in here, but it's a great way to get past that lit hallway, which you'll see here in a second. So we wind up in a utility closet. And we can just open a door. We can hear these two guys talking about whatever they are talking about. But I just, you know, with Blacklist, I'm just having a great time. Basically, I'm, I'm taking my time. Um, I'm on the third level and trying to just basically get good at it and uh, not trying to rush through it. So we'll go ahead and go through here and close the door. And then there is a pipe that you can jump on. Then we have a, a nice do uh, dark area there you can just drop down and then you can go right in through the door there. Um, being a ghost, I want to close the door and you can see you got to be careful or you'll wind up opening the other door. So, uh, Or uh, one time I even switched on the lights when I wasn't uh, recording. I was just kind of looking around. So there is a vent there on the left you can go into, but it's much easier to go this route. I found out. You'll see why here in a second. It's a nice dark room and you'll see there's just you avoid a lot of traffic so really no sense in going in that vent and uh, dealing with those enemies. Just skip all that. We'll just come through here open it up. We got another vent here on the right. And then we'll drop down. Now, these four here, uh, we have to take out. Basically, these are guards that are holding hostage, hostages, and uh, we have to knock them out, uh, or you know, basically take them out, however way we want to. Um, of course, I'm going to KO them. I'm not going to kill anybody. That's also an achievement in the game is not to kill anybody. So another thing that I found out that I really appreciate that they did was in Conviction when you held the um, to grab someone and maybe your hand slipped and you hit it twice, you would accidentally throw the guard. And what I love about this game is they fix that to where if you kind of do a double tap when you're holding someone, um, 
that doesn't do that anymore. It actually waits till the end of the animation to look for that second um, for the throw move, basically. And I really do appreciate that because I don't know how many times uh, that happened in Conviction. So not only that, but in Conviction, uh, throwing a guard would take away a stealth kill. So that wasn't very good. Now this is a really nice move here. You'll see I'm behind cover, and in perfectionist mode, of course, you can do it. Uh, to these guards here as well, but I just love doing this right here. You just take them right over. You can do this uh, with KOs as well as kills. So uh, this way it hides them, which is much more convenient than going out there in the light. And that's another thing that even though I really don't KO much in this game, when I do get the opportunity, I sure do enjoy it. So. Go ahead and get him while we're at it. And then we got the last one here. We'll just do a nice slide here and hit him right in the neck, knock him out. So basically the next area is going down into this kind of sewer place. And remember that being in a, in a video. We're going to go off here to the left, which will be the safest place because you have a guard basically walking away from you. I have gone um, upstairs and whatnot, and I've tried different ways, but I have found this by far to be the best way to ghost it. Be real careful with anybody that's on the bridge. Uh, if you see, you can see someone was right there in the middle, so you want to wait till they pass. And you've also got a couple of people here on the ground. And it looks like, you know, they could see you with their flashlights, but you are safe in this place, in this area. So you're good to go. You can see we've got a high value target uh, right there. He's got capture by him. So basically, we have three enemies right there. The one just walked off to the left. You got the one at our 12, and then the the one we need to go grab so we're gonna come over here I'm gonna make sure he's not looking at me which he's not and then you can just drop down here into the water cross over and then just jump right back up and hang from the ledge look the way he's facing and unfortunately I don't like getting the guards from the side I don't like getting any kind of white detection but um, as long as they don't I don't alert them then I'm okay because in perfectionist mode once you alert them it's pretty much over so um, and then just go around this back way and you don't even have to mess with those two guards there and then you're done with another section basically ghosting it and the only reason again that we got the one guard was because we um, right there that high value target that we wanted to collect that money and bring him in that's one of the drones that's when you're introduced to one of the drones in the single player mission of course I've played uh, Grimm's missions in co-op and so I've had some experience with those and of course I don't shoot those either I just kinda get around them So the, this next part, we have a drone as well, as well as I think there's, um, let me think, one, two, three, four, at least four guards. And there's a really easy way to, to get around them. And that's the biggest thing that I really love about Blacklist is um, don't always look for kind of the obvious route you can see I'm just jump right up here and I can just bypass everything and you can see I get more points more, more exploration points and look at this I'm just walking right past them so always look for pipes and any kind of um, catwalks or anything that you can climb up 
uh, ledges or, or whatever. Uh, later on, I'll probably make it a little bit tougher and try to stay on the ground. But for now, anyway, uh, I'm allowing myself to climb up stuff and I'm enjoying it. Make sure that guard's turned away and make sure you jump off that side, not the right side. If you jump off the right side, there's a guard that's controlling the drone and he'll see you. So make sure you do it the way I, I did it. So when you're going up this pole, there's a, a dead drop. Uh, you'll get more points there and a dead drop uh, collected there. Get the money for that. And then we'll come up here and then we're going to be going into the water facility. We're just going to wait for this guard. These are the kinds of kinds of things I like to do. I like getting really close to him. This closer than ever kind of thing. You can see he was kind of holding his uh, equipment close to him. I, I think that's really neat. So basically you want to get right by this van. You can do a slide over here. Uh, depending on your timing on when you do it, there may be a guy looking that way. That's why you want to take these slides. If you don't take these slides, uh, there can be guards. You can see one right um, there. He was walking around. and So you want to be real careful uh, going that way because there's actually two guards, which you'll see here in a second. In fact, I think I point to them. Yeah, right there. So they're going to be talking to each other, and then the one's going to come over, and then I'll jump up. And there's two routes that they take, and one you would go in the building, um, back around the way you came and in the building, and then one right here that I'm showing you here. And this is where you go up the pipe and you get more points to explore which is my I'd rather do this route anyway so rather get the points okay so there's our guard and I haven't played the uh, any of uh, these levels on the other modes but I know on perfectionist uh, you can't just drop down there or he'll hear you so just wait until he's plenty far back before you drop down and then basically what you're going to be doing is going down the stairs with them because we want to get a laptop and just drop down there now the guy that was out there one of the two out there that was talking uh, he does at one point come in the building, so watch out for that. Just keep an eye on on that. Also, you can go into that door there on the right, the green, green and brown door there on the right if you want. You don't have to go back up these stairs, but I just wanted to show you another route. Plus, again, I really do enjoy just following the guards and getting real close to them just to... As Zach would say, feel sneaky, sneaky. So there's a vent. And we'll be dropping down here again. And there you go. There's four more undisturbed. You've got 1,250 points. And you can go to the left, but you can, I'd rather go to the right. You'll see why here. Get more points. You can see they're just. That's what I love is there's just so many ways to get around here. And what's nice about going through this door here is you're right by a, a little structure here and just climb up it. Now again, being a ghost, a couple of things, especially being a ghost purist, not only do I want to get by them 
uh, without uh, them knowing. But I don't want to really use any distractions, if at all possible. I know sometimes I have to lure them out, and I absolutely have to. But if they do have some kind of a rotation, then I, I want to go ahead and use that to my advantage. So I did try out several strategies, including uh, see where that exit sign is. Um, instead of going through the vent, I went through the other way. Uh, and tried different things from the ground on the left side and just could not come up with anything because they'd always see me. So basically what I did was I came over here on the right side and so just check out this rotation and this is exactly the rotation that you want. You'll see the guy coming over on the right side of the door and what he'll do is he'll kind of come over and look towards you. See how he's leaning over towards you. And then the other guy will go back and see the other guy and he's kind of walking back. So this is where you would actually want to get down. And then make sure that the far guy is not facing you. Hug the door frame and then go right in, close the door so that they're not alerted, and look at that. So didn't even get a, a white warning or anything. So yeah, I was really happy to, to get that, to find that out. Um, to me, this is by far the, the easiest way to do this section. It can get really tough if you um, are not careful, especially if you don't mark the guards. Uh, that's one thing is I don't mark the guards. So kind of have to know where they are, but this route I found to be by far the easiest is I went over here to the left because on the right side, it does get quite crowded to kind of all go over there, as you can see right there. And so what I do is I take this left side all the way down. And then they have a, a really great part here in the back that you can jump right into. And what this does is it completely hides you, and you get more points for it too. But it completely hides you from everything. And as you can see, that's the, the system that we need to shut off. So we're really close to it. You can see we've got two guards that are close by. So basically do a, a kind of survey the area. There's a heavy right there that I'm pointing at. The guy to our right, he'll eventually keep going to the right and then he'll go um, up toward the, you know, my one o'clock down that way. Okay, he's looking out toward us so we're just gonna wait for him to turn around before we go and basically what I'm doing there is just making sure no one else is on that bridge okay so we'll go ahead and jump up and as I'm actually doing this uh, that's another thing is look at your prompts because there were so, uh, several times when I wasn't recording again when I was figuring out the strategy then I would jump over uh, the railing over by that water you can't go in the water but I kept jumping over that railing so once I was done that with that since we have a guy and usually there's two guys over here like right there I got a white warning from a second guard right there there's two guards on the the right side so you can't do that you have to go the way I just went uh, just be real careful and look to your left and right and you should be fine you just go right up the stairs into the next area and this is how you do it we do have uh, one guard right there walking back and forth And we, it looks like we do have a, a heavy right there on the bridge. And 
there's our pump uh, device that we need to shut off and there's another guard right there walking the catwalk right there so there's also a pipe that we'll be getting on as you can see right there on the right just cross over here and you'll get more points So you can see now the heavy is, is actually on the device itself. And a lot of times after he does the device, he'll look out, he'll go to another part of the, the same area and look out somewhere before he goes back up on the bridge. But that time he went right up back to the bridge. So I was able to jump right up. But just watch out for that because most of the time, that was actually the the only time I've seen him go right up back on the bridge, so be careful of that. And the safest way is just to go back here, then you can climb up this ridge. And then our final uh, checkpoint, basically what I was doing there is I was looking for a guard and making sure there was no guard there that would see me. And if you remember when we first came in this area, there he is right there, in fact, um, there was a guard walking around. So I was kind of waiting for him. Definitely did not want to walk in there blind. So. Basically, you just have to wait it out. You can see I'm pointing and pointing at, at him there. And this is the the last part of it. Once I go in the door and whatnot, there'll be a. I just have to shut off a valve and and whatnot. But uh, mission four, I'm really looking forward to mission four because I think it's the private estate and. Really looking forward to doing that one. Okay, so he's about to to walk away. So once he does that, we can go ahead and climb up. Make sure you hug over. Make sure no one's looking. There is a far guy upstairs, but he's far enough away he won't see us. Open the door, turn the valve, and there you go. So you've prevented another catastrophe another blacklist attack nine hostiles uh, undisturbed so um, there you go um, the action report um, we knocked out five guards and if you remember uh, four of them were the required ones back where the hostages were and then the one was the high value target which we wanted to collect and and make sure we capture so that's the only reason those five were knocked out other otherwise I I would have ghosted those as well so you can see there's nothing for panther as well as there's no assault and this one took me, looks like it took me almost 28 minutes. And there are nine hidden paths that I found. And I know there are plenty more because when I was looking at the level and kind of looking at different ways I could do it, I know there were many other hidden places. So, great level. So anyway, there you go. If you enjoyed it, uh, feel free to, to like it and uh, subscribe.